Hello, I'm Mathieu from Ludovox, and today I am going to give you a brief overview of Ber Bermude, or Bermuda in its original version. And this is a cooperative diving game in real time. So it plays with three to six players, ages 10 and up, and it plays in around 15 minutes, but maybe less. It depends on you. So in Bermuda, what we try to do, what we try to achieve as a group of players, because we lose together or win together, is uh, get the most treasure because we are in the Bermuda and um, there are plenty of treasures to be collected. But there is also an evil siren and the evil siren, what she does is she tries to drown us and to, to get the best of us. So uh, we lay a few treasure cards depending on the number of players that we have and then we deal cards to each player. And uh, a round of the game is not really ordered. A round of the game lasts until someone catches his breath. So this means that we are all going to play together at the same time with no turns and we can play on any surface of, of the, the table. So we all get a breath in and look at our cards and then we're going to try to collect the treasures that are here. To collect a treasure, this is very simple. So for example, to collect this treasure, I need to align six cards here on this line. But the cards that I'm going to put have to be like really balanced. So for example, if I, if I put out a five, then I need either a six because it's just one above or one below. So I could put a four, a three, a two, a one, another two, and I have six cards. So here I played it myself, but I breathe a few times, so this is kind of technically not good. So I need to align six cards in there. So here it's eight, six and six, it goes up to 10 in the worst cases. And everyone plays together on all of the lines. There's really no turn order. And the cards are numbered from one to nine and one and nine communicate. And then once a player catches his breath or when uh, the players are satisfied and say, stop, we're going to stop there, uh, we count the points. And basically what you, need to, uh, what you need to achieve is six cards that follow this exact order of uh, being one above or one below the previous card. And if you have less cards, the card is for the siren. If you have more cards than six cards, the card is for the siren. And if you messed up in the order of the cards, the card is for the siren as well. So when you score a card, you flip it and you get one victory point for the players. If you don't score it, you put it underneath the siren's um, card and she gets a, a certain number of points here, one point. It's ranging from one to three and uh, you're going to do that for every treasure uh, of, of the game. So let's imagine this, um, let's imagine this. So here we are at a, stand, at a standstill because the siren has two points and the player have two points. Then we're going to shuffle all of the cards together, deal a few cards, um, put some more treasures in here and play a total of five rounds of this. So um, then after five rounds, we compare the score of the siren and the score of the players. And if the score of the players is above the score of the siren, they all win. That's it. You know almost everything there is to know about Bermuda. So bye bye. Have a good dive and see you on the box.